All right, what's up, my friends? We're playing fun historic decks. We're getting back to Arena. I have not played Arena basically at all uh, in December. And the ladder reset, and whoa, 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 we're back in gold. So we are playing some fun uh, historic decks, getting back into the Arena groove. Ooh, Arena groove. And uh, we're playing some of the decks from the Pro Tour that was like a month ago. <laughs> it's a lot of deep. It's a lot of deep. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, all right? So this is a deck that um, I'm going to butcher his name. Uh, Takahiro Tuma played in the uh, the Zendikar Rising Championship in Historic. It's a mono red Planeswalker deck, and this deck just looks freaking awesome. Um, mono red, sort of like a big red deck, kind of like chunky red and Historic things like that. Uh, maybe we can just call it chunky red for the YouTube video. But we got Planeswalkers. We got Sarkin the Masterless, a card I played a lot when it was in Standard. This card hits really hard. Um, you got to keep the board fairly clear, but this card ends the game real, real quick. Real, 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 real quick. Sarkin making 4-4s. Four Turns all your Planeswalkers into 4-4s. Four Pretty awesome. Of course, Chandra Torch Defiance needs no introduction. I'm almost surprised there's only three, honestly. Um, they also have a Chandra Fire Artisan. Not a bad card. Um, kind of cool with Heart of Cure, moving counters and stuff like that. And then just a decent card draw engine. And Karn, the Great Creator, cool for a few reasons. One, we have a cool Karn sideboard. Um, only three again, which is a little weird, but... So... That part's cool, right? So we have our cool wish board. You can see all the cards above me right here and here and here and here. But another cool thing is how Karn interacts with vehicles. So Karn's plus one makes a non-creature artifact into an artifact creature. And um, we can turn on our Sky Console without actually crewing it. And it's funny because it becomes a 5-5, five five, not a 6-5. So it's flying, though. So it's the attack trigger, which is really, really good. And the boat's good. I think the boat's like a pretty underrated card which is pretty cool. It makes Heart of Kirin into a 2-2 if you want to activate it that way, but we can also remove a counter to uh, screw Heart of Kirin. So we got Heart of Kirin, Mind Zone, and Guardian Idol, very important here, trying to get 2-4 to four on Chandra. Uh, Lightning Strike, a Braid, Bone Crusher. One of the best things you can do with Chandra is play Chandra, plus to add 2 red, then you can play a Kill Spell and kill something to keep the board clear. You have a high loyalty Planeswalker, and you kill something and affect the board, which is great. So that's kind of cool. Um, can you make the vehicle crew itself? You could, but it would be tapped. So... I think you can. Maybe you can. I don't even know. What do, What the hell do I know, right? Judge! No! Uh, so, a Braid Lightning Strike. Four Shadows of Skull Smashing is awesome. I'm a big fan of Mobilize District. Um, this card's pretty sweet. We're actually not playing like that many um, Legendary Planeswalkers, but just basically free in our Mono Red deck, which is awesome. So, uh, four Shock. Fine. And four Soul Scar Mage. The big problem a Chonky Red decks have is that against decks that are more controlling... You can't really pressure them, and they can answer your Planeswalker, and you can't really do much. So we have four Skull Scar Mage here in the main. Cyborg is almost all wish targets, which I... There's a few things that I don't really like, um, but I wasn't playing in the Pro Tour, and, and uh, Takahiro was. So full Cyborg. We, we have two Scrabbling Claws. There's definitely going to be kind of matchups where your, your shocks aren't very good. So, like, bringing in some claws for that kind of makes sense, but... Um, I don't know. I'm going to shut up. We're going to play. Is that cool with everyone? Can we do that? Is that possible? Is that cool? Is that possible? Is that cool? So, let's go. We're playing uh, some Chandras. Some Chandras brought to you by Coalesce Apparel. Coalesce Apparel, that shop. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. Coalesce Apparel, that shop. Um, just really, really awesome designs. Super comfortable shirts. I have almost all of them. It's a new one. The new, uh, the new Commander shirts are out, which are really, really cool. There's a Godfather shirt. There's TCM Sad Life. Subscribing, thank you so much. Ten months, appreciate that. And um, yeah, this is freaking great. Let's just go. Promo code Jim ten. Ten percent off your order. Call us Parallel Shop. Opponents playing Kahira the Orphan Guard, which means they're playing Creatureless Control or they're playing the stupid Nine Lives deck, which you probably can't beat actually. So we have no way to beat. Oh, we do. Uh, we can beat Solemnity Nine Lives with Bone Crusher Giant, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. We're shifty. Ever played a Stork Brawl? I don't think so. Temple of Enlightenment. All right, so there's, there's playing like like mono. There's playing like uh, Teferi control, which is gonna be a terrible matchup for us. So uh, we might be in trouble here. Um, we'll just play. Oh, no. We kind of want to decide if we're gonna play Shadow Soul Smashing as a land or not. We like to keep it as a spell if we draw lands. So we'll just hold it. Our life total is not gonna matter. They're just playing, you know, blue white, whatever control. Bad mana here. Um, no real way to punish our opponent, though. In the mountain. So we're going to stomp them right now. Just to resolve the stomp and get Bone Crusher into the, uh, 
the world to play it. The old adventure zone. I'm going on another adventure. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna say go here. I mean, like, Shock is, like, almost a mulligan against this deck, which is pretty bad, but... Nice mana base. Castles for days. Alright, don't censor me. Hey! Boon Crusher Giant is on the battlefield. Now, hopefully, this can pressure them enough we can resolve Planeswalker. That's kind of a tall order, but... We have a lot of mountains. Very glad we didn't play this as a land. Bone Crusher Giant. Go do something. Wow. Uh, we are in gold, so... It's like our opponents are going to let us resolve stuff, which is pretty cool. So we're going to play Karn here, because Karn guarantees value. Play Chandra, and we, like, don't do anything with it, and they just kill it. We don't get any value, but Karn will guarantee value for sure. And uh, let's go into our little wish board and see what we can wish for. Hedron Archive. Sky Sovereign. We're not there yet on God Pharaoh's statue. Combustible Gear Hulk. Golos is okay. Getting a creature land. We would like something cheap. Because we want to be able to like try and double spell, play around counter spells. Also would mine a card good against a fairy to put the fairy next turn. Um... I mean, I guess the boat does help against a fairy. Hmm. Golos can get the land. No spyglass. It's kind of weird. I agree. Kind of weird. No spyglass. It's kind of interesting. No maze mind tome either. It's true. Yeah, this, this deck is both a little weird. I definitely agree. That some of the card choices here are a little uh, a little weird, but um, I think it's Golos or the boat. Uh, the boat. The boat's really good. Yeah, I think playing one Cascader and Cataracts is also almost free. This deck could also try and play like the Cascading Cataracts, uh, Dark Seal Citadel, Cleansing Wildfire package too. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this deck a little more, uh, but boat or Golos? I think I like Golos. We have more boats in our deck too. Um, if they untap and play to Fairy, we could probably resolve Chandra hopefully. So. Deal damage to alright, yeah, sure. Here goes. Let's see what they do. Pacification array? Everyone's playing, you know, register or something like that. I don't know. Alright, this we play Sapland. No uh no Teferi here. Probably gonna minus again next turn and go get a uh I think Dark Steel Citadel is in historic. They're gonna play a Graph Digger's Cage, which I think does almost nothing against us. We draw a district. Alright. Um We just run the Golos, I think. They counter it, whatever, like. Can't cast spells from graveyard or libraries. Chandra exiles the cards, so it doesn't matter. Um Yeah. Sure. Play Golos. Let's see what they do. They counter this, it's like fine, you know? Sure. Now I get to minus this thing. Now we'll, we'll get the boat this time, I think. It's boat or archive. Archive isn't bad. Uh, we can archive into Chandra, which is kind of cool. But I like boat. Just stay protected against the... A Teferi. I can plus their cage and shock it, that is true. Um, there's the fairy. Alright, so. I'm known for my I hurry. The fairy's a jerk, but the boat should smack it, which is great. And we can just plus. Shatter skull smashing. Not quite on the uh, thing. Why well, don't I try Dominaria Karn over War Chandra? I think this Chandra's good. Like, I think this card's underrated. It's like a decent card draw engine. Um, Alright, we're gonna play a boat. We can, like, shock the Teferi here, too. So, if they don't have an answer for this boat. 
Oh, main deck the gate. That's rude. That's real, real rude. All right, well we're in trouble. Um, Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. I guess we'll shock the to very on the on the end step. Obviously, we don't care if I counter that. So. Yeah, I mean, seems like our worst possible matchup, honestly, but we're, like, in decent shape. We are, like, yeah, we got a Planeswalker resolve. We're kind of making some progress. They have double Ardenvale, too. A lot of castles here. Jeez. King in the castle. And Narset. Gross. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Meditate and prepare. Yeah, no spyglass in our board is pretty loose, honestly. <laughs> Being a spyglass here, I think we'd be pretty happy. Because we could have played spyglass and something else. Even if they, if they negated a spyglass, we would, we would resolve Chandra too, so. Oh my god, search for Escanta? Oh lord. Alright, um. Maybe we like have to shock the Narset, like, to stop them from getting more cards next turn. We have Shatter Skull Smashing for. We have it for six. We can we can uh we can kill the Teferi, barring another negate. You gonna censor me? You cannot see your fall. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna smashing Oh yeah, that's two lands too, that's stupid. We can absorb as well. Alright, well, what are we gonna do? All right, what are we gonna do? It's gonna smashing the fairy. I guess I don't even know. Uh, don't play playing on sensor. I guess just pop this for five. Maybe we'll go. Uh, there's nothing that draws cards. We can leave Narset in play. God, it sucks. Maybe I should shock the the fairy actually. Flying around sensor seems kind of suspect. God, don't censor me. They did, they did pause on a shock. Let's, let's play for four. We can finish it off next turn. Sure. Pretty gross. Um, we could get just like sack our Karn and get uh, a Scrabbling Claws, start working on their graveyard so they can't uh, flip this Escanta, which is kind of big game. I will not lose another friend. Get that matchup. Just like it. Our deck has shocks in it, their deck has counter spells in it. The problem is like, we don't have a sideboard. If we had like Legion War Boss or like some sort of cool aggressive card in our sideboard, like that would help a ton in this matchup, but we just like don't because our sideboard is 15 wish targets, which is kind of like not great design, I don't think, but. Hurry. So yeah, if they just, if they just counter with smashing, we're just gonna lose, but whatever. What are you gonna do? So, we're still one short of killing the fairy, which is pretty terrible, but, uh... I think we're just going... I guess we could, like, play Mindstone and play it for one less. Like, how are we even beating the fairy? I just don't really understand. You know, like... Oh, it doubles, right. Yeah, right, uh, sure. If it resolves. You are correct. a minute to censor out there. What a jerk. What a slow rolling jerk.
Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, all right. So we just like not running the board in. We could like cut. I mean, the shocks are just unbelievably bad. We can cut the shocks. The braids are also awful too. We could just like bring in some of our wish targets, I guess. We bring in like the Gear Hulk, the Golos, the Scrabbling Claws, uh, the Archive, and like the boat, I guess. A braid just doesn't do anything. Shock does almost nothing. Yeah, I don't like how this deck is built, honestly. The bomb? Bomb's pretty bad. Bomb's pretty bad. Ugh. Yeah, Chandra 6 would be really good this matchup. Chandra 6 is really good, the Uncounterable Chandra. That card's actually awesome. Um, it's like, we're playing three Karns, so we need to have all these things. Should I fix the deck? What do y'all think? Should I fix this deck? Do it live on stream. Let's do it live. Raise your hand. I'm going to do that. Normally, I play Pro Tour lists just as they are for a few matches because, like, they were playing it in the Pro Tour and I wasn't, so, but... Y'all want to fix it? I need to see a lot more a lot more hype than that if we're going to fix this deck live on stream. All right. A lot more hype than that. A lot of yeses. Raise your hands. Subs, raise your hands. I can fix this. I can fix anything. Can you fix a Pro Tour deck? I can fix anything. Fix Optimator with the bits. That's a good way to go. One month late, you're good to go. Yeah, right. Oh shit, it's my it's my turn. I'm just talking to I'm just talking to these goobers in chat. Let's go. All right, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. We can fix this. We can fix this. Can I fix the color white? Uh, no. What's up, dragons? Sully, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Appreciate that. All right, so we're just gonna jam uh, nothing. We didn't draw land. Tilt. Shock card off his, uh, scrabbling claws. I can't. There's no cards in a graveyard. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. Sure. Soul Scar Mage. Sub for the fix. Sully, thanks so much. Appreciate that. All new subs. Join my Discord. I have a Discord for private, private, private things. Um, nope. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> private Discord chats are for subs. Only check it out. If you're a sub, join it. Join it. So like, I mean, I want to sack the stupid claws and draw a card. Should I just strike them? Put a card in the grave? That's so bad. All right, your land's good. I screwed up. I should have played my spell first. Hit the button too fast. Can I fix Euro? Nope, can't do that either. Uh, I mean, they have like possible negate sensor. I'm gonna play Archive here. Nice prowess trigger. Idiot! Waka waka! Yeah, I mean, that's great. We drew it, we drew it on negate, so. All right, so let's draw a land next turn, maybe not. We played the gate, they didn't play sensor, so. Path. They still have baffling in. Did we show them a single creature in that game? Like a single creature? They still have baffling on their deck? That's baffling. Right, land. Uh, I would like to resolve a Chandra, please. Thoughts on Chandra? Put a land player on sensor, but. Oh, Bone Crusher? I guess. Let's do this. Gonna be a land, probably. I mean, I should have played a land. I was like, play I was like autopilot playing around sensor, but like they didn't have it last turn, so like now if I hit a land off Chandra, I can't play it. Just gonna yeah, be bad I can't play you. that anyway. Um, all right, sure. So let's just say go. I mean, now I have a Resolve Planeswalker, which is kind of cool. Karn can get our heart cure, and you are correct. Karn can save us from ourself. From our Chandra. They don't like you, Tef. They don't like you, buddy. They don't like you. 
I shot her again. Sorry, I mean, I made mean, a shot. I'm sorry. I was trying to give the finger to that guy over there, but I can't reach that high. Because my hands get cut off. Oh my god. No fun allowed. No fun allowed. Alright, so they have to ferry. We're going to play our look at our, look at our top card. We drew a, a Shatter Skull Smashing. That's kind of cool. I might actually Karn for a, a Heart of Kieran, honestly. Top card. Bone Crusher Giant. That's not bad. Um, I mean, that could kill the ferry. Obviously, alongside our lightning strike, killing the fairy is pretty high priority. So, we're not gonna activate the trick this turn. It's impossible. Stomp you! I won't let you win. I don't, I don't think you have a choice, my friend. I guess we're just gonna do it. Here it is. Wow, I was all fast too. How long do you want to wait for? A so. You're telling me there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. What's that? This it's, 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 it's district has vigilance, so it plays around uh, Seal Away, but. Alright, let's play. Uh, should play the old Karnski. Is Cardboard live offline? It shouldn't be. It's right here. It should be on. Cardboard lad, lad not working. All right, so uh, yeah, you know, we, you, you you shouldn't ultimate a planeswalker unless you're gonna win the game. You can you can save it and then still have it post ultimate. It's like ultimating it and getting any planeswalker at the same time. So, um, do we just get hard here in here and cast it? They can't make a token with their Arden Veil. Ratchet bomb has got it going on. I was thinking hard of curing, yeah. Give my hard of curing back. I want that. I do love hard of curing. I'm a huge hard of curing fan. Well, that's a huge tilt. I mean, they didn't have that two, two turns ago, or last turn. Uh. Well, I guess I'm an idiot. I could have played the uh, the smashing as untapped. That would have helped out probably. Um, but like, it's definitely a judgment call. I feel like I have to have drawn that sensor unless like turn or two. I think I still play it though. I'm just an idiot, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll admit, I'll admit my stupidity. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Free hike for Mug Monday tomorrow. Bobo. Tomorrow, Mog Monday. For those who don't know what's going on tomorrow, um, I'll put this large graphic on the screen. I'll make it, I'll make it smaller. Tomorrow! Sell out with me, yeah? Thanks, DMT. Tomorrow, me and Pleasant Kenobi, Death and Taxes vs. Goblins, Mog Monday Showdown. Check it out tomorrow. 1 p.m. Sarkin. Gentlemen. Behold! Alright, so... I mean, like, start with Chandra. Soul Scar Mage. Oh, right. it's you burning. Is there like some card I want to get with Karn? Not really. I mean, I would like to play Sarkin. Hyper to see some yeah. top tier memes from you and PK tomorrow. I won't be able to catch it live, unfortunately. That's okay, username. I think we um let's just play this first take a look. Stand down. Stand down. Huh. I think we should just play creatures. I don't think we should try and resolve a uh, planeswalker here. I'm just gonna get the god for his gift, just have it like ready to go. Make him deal with these things. Um, I'm just gonna say go. Just stomp them. We could have fired up the district, but 
think we'd rather just stomp them and get this thing out of our hand. Or we'll just hit that. It's even better. So let that resolve. Such great foresight by me. Juice box, what's up? Paper format? I like a variety of formats. I like standard, historic, modern. My three, my three main formats right now. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Blouses. That was really loud. I apologize. Yeah, Pioneer sucks. Uh, um, yeah, actually, run it back, I guess. This feels like we should not be able to, be able to win this matchup, honestly. But Goblin Commander tomorrow. I haven't built a deck yet. I think I'm going to build a deck um, and then record it as a bonus video for my subscribers on YouTube and on Twitch. So look for that one as some bonus content. I do a little bonus content um, here and there for my subscribers. And I might have me building the commander deck for tomorrow's matchup as a as that. Yeah, sorry for that year, bud, people. Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. What's up, Gainswalker? Well, I'm going to be doing a Bronze to Mythic run um, for Kaldheim in Limited. Would you like to see that? Would you like to see that? Yes. Blow out your ear, buds. Wart or Grenza? Probably Muxus. I mean, like, there's a card you want to cast literally every turn over and over again. It's got to be Muxus, right? Like, okay, a little hand of the week action. We like that. Classic. Um, I'm going to mulligan this shitter of a hand. Not making my life any easier here, but I'm worried about this lightning strike. All right, this hand's pretty mopey, but sure. Cranko is better as a commander than Muxus is? I mean, I don't play commander. I've, like, almost never played commander ever. So, I just can't imagine how you wouldn't want to cast Muxus over and over and over and over again. Just, I don't know. It just makes sense to me. Actually, in best of, in like, in best of one. I, I mean, in 1v1, too. Like, I do, I do like those of the Punisher. Those of the Punisher is pretty sweet. That is, that is, a, that is a good one. All right. I mean, Mindstone? Limited Bronze to Mythic. Gotta get this content train rolling. Got a lot of work to do. Mindstone. Yeah. Sure. Fine by me. I guess, like not bad here. I mean, obviously mulliganing is pretty terrible against the uh, the one for one control deck, but I think it's censored here. Censor me. Tell me to shut up. We do, we do have some, bo some boomers in our hand. For sure. We can resolve one of these boomers, you know? And Mux, Mux is bad at commander because goblin density is... That's fair, I guess. It's not like you're hitting like two war and a Cranko every time. You're hitting whatever goblins you get. Mux is more fun, though. You know, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll figure it out. All right. Um, I mean, we're just jamming now. I think they just vetoed my my archive. I'd like to jam around sensor though, so we'll just play Chandra and say a prayer. Playing Perforos as my Goblin Commander? No, 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 no. Mister Ride, what's up, Ride? Am I saying that right? How's it going, my YouTube folks? We got absorb there. That's pretty good. All right. All right. Temple of Enlightenment. We get a bottom here. Everyone likes a good bottom. Everyone likes a good bottom. Oh, stop. Another boat. Ugh. All right. We're gonna pay three life. Player on sensor and say a prayer, folks. Oh, on a prayer. Like. These sort of like mid-range red decks just can't beat a control deck. <laughs> like, they just have counter spells and I don't. So I'm playing my five mana spells and just counting them for two mana. Like, just a horrible, horrible matchup. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Boat.
Got four cards in the graveyard already. Oh my god. Got a card on top? A card has to be so good for me to want to keep it on top with Search for Escanta. It has to be like the best possible card. Because all I want to do is flip it, you know? What a jerk. Heliod? All right, we got to draw a Planeswalker here, folks. That's not a Planeswalker, but it's not actually that bad. It's a resolvable spell. Combustible Gear Hulk is here. Who's ever seen this card cast before? I haven't. Might be my first time. Probably not, though. I play Magic for a living, so I probably have cast it before. Here we go! So look at the top three cards. And they can let me draw three or mill three. I'm going to take damage equal to the mana cost of those cards. Hopefully let me draw three. Please let me draw three. Please. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. Let me draw three cards. Let me draw three cards. Please, please, please. Ah, it's a bingo! Bingo! Ow, my knees hurt. <laughs> I'm old. They bend and absorb? Oh, we're, 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 we're doing something, folks. Um... I missed the land draw, too. What are we doing here? I got six cards. I mean, they're going to flip, flip this next turn. Let your opponent recall or take five damage. Yeah, I mean, they're only 23, you know? Um, all right, so... This thing's four to activate. That would leave us with three mana left over for a Soul Scar Mage and a Stomp on their turn. Just do it. Just do it. Four mana. I can't even do math. Now our Gear Hulk's probably going to get Seal Weight here or something, but... It drew us three cards, so... Cast out? Sure. Pop. Maybe we just cast the Bone Crusher here. Just not even go for the extra value off of it. Nah, let's see. Uh... I mean, Gear Hulk hits for a lot when your deck has a lot of big things in it, but, like, I think the most it can hit for in our entire deck is 15. If we get three five drops. So, like, they should definitely want to take 15 rather than let us draw three. And that is the absolute ceiling. The worst case scenario. It's more likely to do, like, seven damage. It's like a five drop, a two drop, and a land or something like that, you know? Alright, so, they drew the card and didn't flip their search. And now they're tapping out for Narset. We are in gold, folks. We are in gold. I have practiced against many the Spin the card and have a land. What are you doing? They whiffed on Narset! It's happening! It's all coming together. It is all coming together. I just shouldn't have done that. I should have just boated it. I'm stupid. Whatever. I should have did that. I'm just getting so excited. Sloppy technique. I just can't hide it. Um... Yeah, that was, really, that was really dumb. I should have shot them, obviously. That's okay, though. Um, oh, if I kill it, then they're going to uh, gonna be able to flip their Ascanta for sure next turn. But, yeah, whatever. Just play it all. That was dumb. They should be at 18. If you lose by two life, then um, it's going to be our fault. I'll take full responsibility for my actions. I apologize to Lord Vader. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. They scooped. You heard it. Yeah, that's a boat. Don't, don't look at my boat. That's my boat. They have three cards. I mean, we just can't beat Escanta, though. Like, how are we ever going to beat Escanta? Oh, man. We do have boat plus district. So, like... They can't really remove these super easily. So now any Planeswalker they play is under pretty big duress. God, it's so good. Played a lot of Escandas in my day. Back in my day. Top again? Alright, sure. You draw like a good Planeswalker next turn. Like Shonda to Torture Defiance, the card we haven't seen yet. We're in trouble. Like, Ascant is insane. 
We need, we need to draw like a heater like the next turn or two. If we draw like Chandra next turn or some good planeswalker next turn, we have a chance, but that's not the worst. Like, but now do we like do we fire up the boat off district and possibly lose it to a seal away? Yeah. What else are we gonna do? Everybody get in the boat. It's a party boat. Don't settle me. Don't settle me. We're playing field to consideration? I mean, like, this card's not that played. Oh my god, X is four? Ugh. I guess, like, what are they gonna do, trade with the Bone Crusher? If it was five, I'd be, it'd be devastating, but sure. We, uh... Haven't played a land yet, right? No. So we can actually just finish off the shark. It's kind of cool. We're all in. Our cards are on the table. We really want to draw some sort of fatty planeswalker next turn. They should be at six, too. You could crew with summoning sickness? Yes. Summoning sickness. When you crew, it's not attacking with it. There's the ferry. We have a boat in play, so. The whole damn district is in this boat. It's like the back deck of a, a cruise ship on a man, party night when you first take off. God, I miss crewing cruises. Yeah! Boom! Hyphen chat. I don't know how we ever beat that deck in a million years, but we did. So. Woo! Okay. Blouse. All right, so I will fix the deck as requested. So. Is that Pig? <laughs> What's up, Paul? Pig thumbs up. I like big. I love Starcraft. Uh, all right, so we're going to fix this deck. So we're going to, it's now Chonky Jim. All right, so things I want to change. Shock is gone. Um, I kind of want all four Guardian Idols, casting the Chandra's fast is important. Four shot or torch, not close. Four four car, not close. I like the boat a lot. I like hard of cure a lot. Um, I would mind a cataracts in the main deck, honestly. Well, I want to look at the. Uh, hold on. So cleansing wildfire. What are the indestructible lands? I I can't spell. <laughs> Just the cataracts. So we could play four cataracts and four. That's not good enough. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't draw it often enough. Um, all right. So that's not good enough. Hard of is pretty great. I think two idols fine. Hard of Kieran's dope. Soul Scar is fine. Strike and a braid are a little weird because, like, strike is actually a little better than a braid because it can target, like, actual planeswalkers and stuff. What is this? I have like 19 lightning strikes, but I guess they give me a stupid one. Whatever. Um, Bone Crusher, Chandra, Mindstone, Smashing. Should play one Cataracts. It's like pretty low opportunity cost, right? I don't like Valve Expedition. I don't like that card. Um, what else do I want to play in this deck? Sweltering Suns? Eh. So, I think you gotta keep Soul Scar Mage. You should like, have to, I think. A Braid, Strike, Idle, Heart, Mindset. I don't have enough things to do on two. Chandra, what are the other Planeswalkers? I wanna see red Planeswalkers. Look at this deck building on stream. Y'all like this sort of deck building on stream? Just like the the real live actions? What's up, uh, Reach the Sky? We have a, we have a Golos in our board. There he is. And Cataracts is like almost free to play. I don't hate the idea of playing Cleansing Wildfire and Four Cataracts, like trying that, but like it's a little light. Um, Devil on Chandra, Waking Inferno on our board. Maybe in the main. Maybe like one in the main. I like this card a lot. This card's really good. Um, Chandra Acolytes. We don't have spells for Chandra Acolyte. Um, honestly, the Healy's kind of fine too. It's like a Cyborg Planeswalker for control matchups. But I think that Legion Warboss is like probably better. Um, 
Chandra with Chungus. Chungus Among Us. Um, Karn, Scion of Urza. I mean, Karn is interesting over a Chandra Fire Artisan. I also wouldn't mind playing like one Karn and one Chandra. It's like a little extra, little extra beef. Um, so this is... Let's go with Hardikirin. I do love Hardikirin. Play this and like... You can like go three strikes and no braids. What do you got at braid, honestly? In a main deck. I actually can't really board many cards though because of the wish boards, so... This is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 23, this is 25 lands. That's fine. Um, maybe just board the Chandra's. The boat. It's a lot of, lot of two mana removal effects. Yeah, let's get on one strike. And then our sideboard. We gotta cut a lot of these shitter. Like, we're not playing Combustible Gear, because cards freaking there. We're not playing Embercleave. Um, Perilous Vault's terrible. Archive's terrible. Bomb is fine. Shadow Spear is not great. We don't have any creatures in our deck. Claws. I mean, Claws are, like, okay as far as, like, a card to bring in, but I don't even need a ray. Tormod's Crypt. Why are you playing Claws over the, the Lantern? Like... Uh, we're, still, we're still on Planeswalkers. Play a Lantern. Get rid of these stupid card styles that I can never turn off. Um, 15 cards. So, like... Cyborg wants to have, like, War Boss as, like, our anti-control card. Um... Are there other real cards you want to have on our sideboard? So Crypt, Cage. We don't need Claws and Lantern. Um, is Claws better than Lantern? I think so, honestly. Oh, we need a Spyglass. Yeah, definitely Spyglass. Definitely need a Spyglass on the board. Um, I think it's actually Claws over Soul Guide Lantern. I think that Claws is like, it's fine. And also, it's just a way to like cycle out of our sideboard. Whereas if, if they have a big graveyard, we need to exile. Then Crypt is better anyway. So this is fun. Um, I don't really want like Anger the Gods or something like that in our sideboard, I don't think. Maybe it's like fine. I don't own Anger the Gods. Look at me. Look at me, a schlub. What a schlub I am. Um... We have a lot of shocks and stuff. I guess two angers is fine. So the package against control is three war bosses and a Chandra. Against aggro decks, we have two angers. Um, this feels better. This feels better. So any other card that's like really good against control decks or like slower decks? Soul Scar, Breed. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm getting hungry again. Other lands you should play? I don't think so. I actually do like Spike Field Hazard a lot. Oh, Tome. Tome's pretty good. Yeah, Tome's a nice one to have against control decks. Because the, the thing is that Tome's actually pretty awesome because the big problem against control is we can't double spell. So, like, we just play Chandra, they counter it. We play Sarka, they counter it. So, if we have a cheap card like Tome, we can go like Tome, they counter it, Chandra. That's actually a pretty big game in the sideboard, so I actually like that a lot. Um,. Amonkhet artifact that makes spells more expensive and drains their life. Huh? What card's that? What card's that? Bombs, scrambling claws. I got a war boss. Oh, the the city city's busting card. Eh, I want Spikefield Hazard. I think I should like Hazard a lot. Cut two mountains for two, two, two hazards. All of our lands come in untapped anyway. This card's just good. I'm just a big spike build hazard fan. Um, the statue. Oh, the monument. Yeah, it's already there. That's not that's 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 from Almond Kit. That's from, uh, from uh, Warp Spark. All right, so I've, I've now fixed the deck. Questions, comments, concerns? You have 
25 seconds or less to tell me if this is uh, what you want or not. It's also cool that the spike build hazards uh, fit the shock slot while not being awful against like control decks and stuff. So, deck sweet. Let's go. Chonky Jim. Chonky Jim. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. From on Twitch, hit that follow button if it's your first time here. And if you're on YouTube and you gotta hit that like button, the subscribe button, click the bell, leave a comment, brush your hair, brush your teeth, say hi, just do stuff. Immortal Sun, we're a Planeswalker deck, come on! Immortal Sun. Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, let's go. Field of Ruin, eh, what do you get killed Field of Ruin, you know? All right, one and oh, we somehow beat that blue-white control deck. I don't know how we did that, but. We're great. Uh, <laughs> I broke the deck, folks. I broke it. Now nah, it's broken. It doesn't work anymore. It stands like close to a keep, but we can't keep this. Gotta, gotta gold. Gotta, gotta gold. We are undefeated on a day in gold. Yes, undefeated. I know. Thank you. Thank you for that. Undefeated in gold. I do this for a living for a reason. My opponent, let's go. Let's get warm in here, too. It's a gold keep. Opponent's a mulligan. Nah, we're gonna mulligan. <laughs> Seems actually fine with Shatter Skull and District and Hardicurin. Seems actually pretty good. Keep this. I'm gonna ship Mindstone. We don't need three colorless mana sources, so this is fine. You like these, huh? You like these? Alright, so, uh, Enter's Tapped. Glacial Fortress again? Oh my god. Who do these gold players think they are? Alright. The fairy this and the fairy that. Um. Hmm. The Mindstone. Hard carry ain't doing much yet, so. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Y'all are gonna like the uh, the intro to my YouTube video tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. Put a lot of work into it. Hard carry. Soul Scar Mage. Your turn. Your turn. Type in for one, sure. So like, you draw a land here, it's pretty cool, but it's probably not gonna resolve anything. Just do it though, just do it. Our first Chandra Torch of Defiance of the, uh, of the deck. Good choice, good choice. Very astute opponent, very astute of you to counter my Chandra. It's boat next turn. We do have two, two boomers here, so that's not a that's not a that's not a land. Whatever, spell me good. McIntyre, you watch your mouth. So this was great. We, we did it. We resolved it. Uh, let's draw some cards. Karn is very good at drawing lands, right? Karn, he's a bad dog. Good at drawing lands. All right, so. Uh, yeah, let's just crew. It is best if you stop. Pilots to your ships. Pilots to your ships. I'm gonna be blue white again. This is great. This is freaking great. Ah, boo. Alright, sure. You heard that? Hey, Carm. <whistles> You're a bad dog. Alright, so, uh, y'all want to get in a boat? Hmm. I actually want to say boat for, for the fairy turn. Let's play, let's play Karn here. 
I am Karn. I mean, five lands, all boomers is like pretty ideal for us. Pretty ideal. Main deck, disdainful stroke. Mm. Can you cure hardest gear with Sky Sovereign? Uh, no. I mean, you, I guess you could if you also crewed the Sky Sovereign. District. I mean, like. Maybe we should just attack it. They actually have, they just have four spells in their hand. We should just chill, I think. I'm gonna fire up the District and fire up the Heart of Kieran, I guess. Could play land Sky Sovereign, but if they like counter it, untap, and play to Ferry, I guess we have the Heart of Kieran. And we'll rolls off Sarkin, too. Sure. Just do it. Just do it. Boat! I'm on a boat and it's going fast and. I got a triggered ability when I attack and. I'm doing 3D or shark like a lightning bolt on Scepter. Nothing wrong to Scepter. Shut up, Jim. That's cool. Cast that, sure. I mean, we're like doing stuff. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Nice mana base. Search for Escanta. Oh boy, you in trouble now. Oh, you done done it. You done 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 did it. Gentlemen. Behold! Let us fight! Your end has arrived. I have made Dragon! They have four in the bin. That's not enough. That's not enough. Why is my foot so dirty? Waka waka. What? Ha! Okay. Blouses. Why is this just these blue white decks? Right now, we bring in our boss, our boss, and our Chandra. And we're gonna cut the uh, braids and the lightning strike. And. That's it. That's great. Easy game. Easy game. Dargon! You are your Sark? Yeah, we, we used to have Gentleman Behold on the, the soundboard, but I never used it, so I took it off. I only have so many buttons. I bet you I'm going to get a cool hand control. Hashtag soon. I have lots of buttons on it. So many buttons. I can find it somewhere. Y'all want to hear it? Who wants to hear Gentleman Behold? Who wants to hear it? Raise your hand in chat. Who wants to hear it? Where is it? Gentlemen, behold! There you go, all right? There you go. Uh, I can keep this, it's fine. Hall Fountain, go. All right, all right. We really shouldn't be beating this deck. Like, now we have a much better like plan. Like that card. Hello. Oh, it's my you like oh that my one? I like that one a lot. Upstairs. Too much fun or not enough fun? Bone crusher giant. You gotta deal with it. It's pretty big. It's not great, but it's something. It is something. Aether Gust. Decline. Just draw a different spell, I think. I thought I'll make land drops for our, our big Chandra, so. Ooh. That's awkward. Um. I 
Can we just jam here? Like, resolving a Planeswalker is really good, but I'm just gonna jam. Just whatever. There it is. There's my card. Alright, bad dog. Velvet Speed, oh great. Not Sensor is very good. So, they used a real counter spell on that, a real actual factual. And they're, just, they're also cycling Shark Type for zero, very desperate. That's very desperate. And the good news is we're probably going to resolve a, a Chandra here, hopefully. Okay. Just wait till next turn. Just you wait till next turn. All right. No time for a break. For zero, it does make a shark. So if there was like a blood artist in play, you would uh, it would trigger it. They just narset it for narset and search for us, can't they? Hmm. Gentlemen. Um. Yeah, I mean, just Chandra time. Like, we can't kill it's a fairy. We could kill it's a fairy by attacking it and Chandraing it. We have Aether Gust here too, which kind of sucks, but yeah, I mean, they just, they just have it all. We just have it all, you know. What are we gonna do? Well, like, we really shouldn't ever beat this deck. I don't think. I think we should be like it should be like a ninety ten matchup. We should be that bad. Maybe after our alterations, a little better, but it should be a really bad matchup for us. Contain your rage. Hold that thought. Yep. Those who cannot just the trick for this. Out of a 7-3 in Monoride, you're out of your mind, 95. You're out of your actually out of your mind. You make you make a lot of ridiculous statements on this in the stream, but that is one of the most ridiculous ones. This has gotta be like at least 65-35 in the in the uh, control player's favor. As long as they're playing well. I don't think our opponents have been playing very well, you know? But yeah, they play bad, they're gonna lose, but. What's up, Dougie? How's it going, my friend? Love my YouTube folks. Um, alright, so. Stay back. I'm an explosive pyromancer. We gotta kill this Teferi. We can kill Teferi now. We can leave this at one and attack Teferi. Um well, they've cast out in their hand. That's a that's a that's a that's a that's a problem. I didn't even notice that because I was talking. Tilt! Um We only get one plus out of this thing. So like I don't know if one emblem will win the game or not. It probably won't. I mean, they're they're gonna cast it out on their end on our end step. We have one activation here. Um, we can attempt to kill Teferi. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill Teferi. Soul Scar Mage can finish the job. Sure. So we killed the fairy at least. You know, no, they're gonna cast out the soul scar mage. That's crazy. They were they were gonna cast out in their hand. Keep up the pace. Hone your prowess. Whatever. You win. You win. I mean, make an emblem. They're gonna be able to make a big shark and kill us in 16 turns. So now we're on the play. You know, maybe we can stick something. Boo! I win. I'm gonna win these bad matchups anyway. I don't care about these bad matchups. I'm just gonna win anyway. I'm just gonna win anyway. All right. All right. I don't, I don't care. I ain't got no 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 care. Who you who you who you care about? Which Sean Regulator? No, that card's not good. Just very, very you spend mana on it, don't get anything any out of it really. Can't waste turn two before that thing. Alright. <sighs> oh man. I mean, that's our deck, you know, like we just have 
things that cost four and five against their counter spells that cost two and three, but I'm just gonna keep. You mulch down a card. Draw like Mindstone at the Legion War Boss. That's not bad. Cast out. Cast out's good against us, dude. Stomp ya. I mean, like, we just champ Bone Crusher here. If I play a threat and show and hopefully they have to use a sensor here, we can, we can resolve a threat next turn. We're definitely, we're definitely playing a format of Planeswalker next turn. There's just no, no question at all. So, yeah, nice. Nice Mind Stone. Right on time. Jerk. Mystical Dispute. Mystical Dispute? Jerk. Your magic card ever? Uh, I've written articles about that. You can go to my website, jimdavismtg.com. Go to my article page. I have, like, my favorite... Favorite decks, favorite moments, favorite article, favorite cards, things like that. God, this is just such hell on earth. Uh... Miss the land drop. So do we. Red elemental blast? Yeah, sure. Sign me up. Sign me up. Yeah, it's just terrible, terrible matchup. If we draw a land here, it might be okay. No, you know, they, they, they hit their land, but it's on it's tapped. They have almost all spells in hand. I mean, we're gonna play Chandra. They have Aether Gust too. You have it all? No. We're going up. I'm Chandra. We're going up the train. Looks like someone's getting no cast out either? Ooh. There's Teferi. Sure. Maybe we have a boat with Teferi. I know my response. We're gonna talk to the old Chandra? That Teferi is dead. Still there. And no attack? Interesting. Um, alright. I mean, we could resolve Sarkin, but, like, we're just gonna boat the, uh, boat the old Teferi down. Boat ya! Let's throw a boat at Teferi. That feels good. So they got minimal value off of their Teferi there. We have our emblem. Just pecking away here. The good news is, too, we can actually just draw a card and then guarantee we draw our Chandra next turn. Cast out. Tilt. So you can guarantee it's like an emblem. Um, so we drop. Cast out Karn. Oh man, a Karn resolves would be really, really good. So you can fire up the cop, fire up the the Sky Sovereign. Give me Chandra again. Um, we Chandra again. They have to have Aether Gust. We get a second emblem. Then they have to waste their turn cast outing it. They don't have land number five, number six. They can't have a counter self anyway. Yeah, we're gonna just play Chandra here. Veto definitely a very real possibility. Like this guarantees we can affect the board. And two emblems is actually a clock. One is not really much. Now they're on a nine turn clock, which is actually like a reasonable clock for a control deck. The oh, it's a whiff! Bingo. Right. Yeah, I also like the Chandra a lot too. So now, they go to cast out the Chandra because they, if they get a third emblem, they're dead. So they kind of like they're gonna cycle a sensor, look for a land here. They're gonna have to hard cast this cast out, and then we can untap, resolve either Karn or Sarkin, and kill the kill the thing, and kill the thing, and do the thing, and so on and so forth. So killing Narset is pretty much irrelevant. I think you want Sarkin here. 
Yeah, they're dead. This game's over. No sword they're not. Can we're so good. How good are we? We're so good. I'm on a boat! Attack them! Kill the shark! And scoop. Wait, let me let me read Sarkin. They're so mad. They're so mad. ASMR salt. The S in ASMR is for salt. Jimty salt in chat, please. Jimty salt in chat, please. This is what gold is usually like. Just players playing control decks and salting off on the loot when they lose good matchups. Salt and chat, please. While we're waiting, I'll remind everyone. I got, I got things to do, right? Tomorrow, Mod Monday Showdown versus Pleasant Kenobi. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mod Monday. My Goblins, Kenobi's Death and Taxes, we're playing Modern. We're playing Legacy. We're playing 1v1 Commander, a format I've, I don't think I've ever played before in my entire life. That's tomorrow. Watch it live on Twitch. Um, watch the recorded recorded content on YouTube. Um, we'll both be streaming it, so look for both of us. Uh, you can watch the content from both sides. And I'll have the Discord on for a little uh, a little banter, a little friendly banter. And um, we're lowering taxes. Read my lips. No new taxes. That's right. Check it out. Corner playing is my commander. I think Muxus, but I haven't built it yet. I'm going to build the deck off stream. I'm going to record a video of it actually to be a little bonus content for my subs. A little non standard bonus content. Look at this salty rope. This salty bastards. I'll just bump all my, bump all my, all my, uh, my sponsors. Call us Parallel Shop. Promo code Gym10. 10 percent off your order. Call us Parallel Shop. Check that out. I'll check out bcbsupplies.com. And, uh, oh, we're back. Are they gonna let us kill them or are they gonna just go like gonna complain about everything? Wah. Wah. It's like the penguin, the little baby penguin in Mario 64. Wah. 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 That's our opponent right now. Wah. Wah. You're holding it over the edge. Wah. Wah. Oh my god. Yeah, if you wanna let me know what uh what content creators I'm gonna challenge who are um who are uh Deck archetype specialists, um, you should do that. And let me know who has challenge. Saffron Olives. Hello, everybody. It's Seth. Probably better known as going to lose a gym in the Mod Monday challenge. Hey, Toots. Come tell a joke. to break up the monotony. Tell a joke. Aww. Oh, they exploded. <laughs> they exploded. They weren't happy to see you. 2 0 versus Blue Eye Control. <laughs> That's all it took. I just had to show up. The muscle. Why haven't you conceded yet, opponent? <laughs> nice platinum. We did it. Yeah, it is a sweet beanie. We did it. Let's keep Check going. Out this beanie. Yep. It's a Magic Legends beanie. Ah. <laughs> See, Magic Legends, it's like the Diablo Magic game. It's um, cool. Alright, so uh, I also have a blue one. let's go. Chonky Jim. Change stream title. Good lord, we're in gold. Send help. Nah, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Just gonna leave it. Clickbait. Clickbait. You can't go back down to gold now. Nope. We're stuck in platinum. Stuck in platinum. That sounds awful. Watch out, Cho. Let's go. What do you want? Look at this hand. Look at this hand. I'm looking. I'm looking and I'm seeing. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have a look at I guess. Coming for you, Joe. 
better. Um, I'll ship a Chandra, I guess. I agree. Island again. God, just leave me alone. Oh, just leave me alone. Yeah, I'll go away. Do you need anything? For opting. I may be going to the store. Have a store? I'm not sure. No metal. We haven't had milk in like six days. We haven't had milk in six days, that is true. I don't like going a very, very store. lazy week or two. Well, no, it's not even the lazy. It's just like, I don't like going to the store. It's the lazy. <laughs> I have prepared How many I... delicious meals. Holiday lazies. It's it's not, though. I, I just... I gotta get the bread and milk. Don't want to go to the store if I don't have to. Stuff. No, so can't. cool. I love Riddle Form. Jim's jealous of opponents. I'm right super now. jealous right now. All right. Playing um, super soul scar me. Boom, first you got. You don't have a cool Riddle Form. Cool. All right. So I mean, like, this card's pretty good against us, honestly. Yeah, I actually normally love going food shopping. It's it's like usually my me time. But now, you know, for a while, it's been like get in and get out, oh. and that's it. And I want nothing to do with being in the store. It makes me sad. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> they have so many good cards against us. Got milk? No. As a matter of fact. I, well, I top top? How do you top so much? It's like not even possible. Hard of gear is good. Um I think we gotta toss Chandra here, honestly. Like, you can't leave these things in play. And then maybe we'll try and bone crusher spike field hazard the riddle form. I like it sucks, but... Our first Chandra, it's not a good one. But, I mean, it's not like the worst. We did, you know, we did trade, uh, just traded one for one with a good creature. Sprite Dragon? Ah! Yeah. Pops. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, well now we gotta stomp the, the Sprite Dragon. Chandra and playing Heart of Cure just like just gets blown out by like a braid, even like double shock or something like that, you know. Guess you don't need me anymore. All right. I mean, we just gotta stomp a Sprite Dragon. Like they they have a spell we're just gonna lose. I guess we have Hazard, but all right, sure. Stomp this. It worked. And like, just play Bone Crusher, I guess. It's not much point playing Heart of Cure. Yeah. Riddle Form's just too good. It's just too powerful. Can't beat Riddle Form. We actually are like pretty soft to Riddle Form, all things considered. Uh, Charter Course discarding a card. Are they have are they had uh, an Arclight Phoenix deck too? Hmm. Hmm. Opponents doing the thing. I'm just doing my thing. They are an Arclight Phoenix deck. This team's really good against us, honestly. Uh, Soul Scar me. That's a lot of creatures in your uh, in your prowess deck. I mean, we just... I don't even know what we do, honestly. Just like... Play Idol and Heart of Kieran, I guess. We could just like leave, just stay back on defense. They have Soul Scar Rage, they can just shock the Heart of Kieran anyway. And like, make it small to die in combat. So like, we just gotta jam, I think, and just try and kill them. It's not a good place to be. Not a good place to be at all. You have to become an idea. I mean, you could draw like a like a Sarkin or something, or some sort of like. I guess a boat would be okay too, kinda. I think it's time to sit down. Take a seat. What is this? Shock? Oh my god, they have everything! Alright, we're dead. Um, yeah, Riddle Form's too powerful for us. It's exactly lethal. Right, they got us. What can I say? They got us. Um. Schnikes. Let's bring in, I guess, our Angers. Cut the big dumb Chandra and cut, like, a 
car and Scion, I guess. Sky Sovereign's like not super exciting against them, I guess, but this is fine. Riddle form. Riddle form. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. Yeah, follow the with that follow button, of course, between YouTube, make sure you follow me, between YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I say things so fast. Let's go. Let's go. No Magnus Brace. Just anger of the gods. Spike field hazard. If we found like a, a lightning strike or a braid that game, could have just kill that stupid riddle form. I'd have actually been okay, but. Hungry again. I need, I need to get a snack. The Nile Promise is good. They play a lot of creatures. They had Sprite Dragon, Soul Scar Mage, I mean, Riddle Form, and Storming Entity, and Arcrite Phoenix. That's a lot of non creature spells, or not a lot of creature spells in your non creature spell deck, you know? Hello. Come on, Joe. Land first. Yeah, we're brave. We'll keep. I suppose, like, lands and shadow shell smashing isn't that bad either, so. Well, Bob Rossman, another district. We are we are in the district. We are the uh, the man of the people here. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Get to a braid the riddle form, untap and play Sarkin. So I'm gonna queue up the uh, the effect. Alright, so we're gonna let this resolve. We're gonna kill it right now so they can't like go land and negate or something like stupid like that. We just gotta, we just gotta kill riddle form. Like absolutely have to kill it. There's no no two ways about it. Keep them off the board. Keep them off the board, and all of their spells like opt turn into wheel spinning spells. No, 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 I got nothing. This game, this game's already over. Already over, gentlemen. Behold. So we can minus here and allow them to just shock our Sarkin, or we can just plus it. Just have a Sarkin in play. Yeah, we're gonna plus. I will call the dragons. Like. If they shock our soccer, we still have a 4-4 in play, but like, we're so far ahead right now, we can just chill, I think. Thrill discarding Royal Scions. Oh yeah, let the wheel spinning commence. Let the wheel spinning commence. There's an opt. Yeah, you just you just keep doing your thing. Alright. Just keep doing your thing. Um, we can just like Shatter Skull Smash it for a 4. Just keep their stuff off the board. Get our Sarkin in. Gentlemen, behold. Top, top? Who goes top, top? All right, so we can't abrade here because we want to, uh, they, they have a shock or something like that. We're gonna get blown out. So we'll just fire up the old uh, Shadow Skull for four. It's totally fine. Sarkin is not indestructible when it bird attacks. Yes, they could block and kill it or something like that. So let's just play Smashing, X is four. Fire up the old Sarkin. Drop those rocks. Ready. Gentlemen. Behold. And uh, looking pretty good here. That's a pretty thick Planeswalker. Sarkin works out. Crackling Drake? That's pretty good. That's fine also. Um All right. Like We can obviously give it minus 3 minus 3, which is kind of cool. Let's uh fire up the attack. Might demands power. Just 
play Hard Akiran. And I think we're gonna do it right now. So they can't like counter it or something stupid. I don't know. They also, they also I'm sorry, they, they could kill the they can kill the soul, soul scar made response, so. Sarkin passive would give it minus one minus one. Uh yeah, that's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool little synergy there. Sarkin passive is whenever a creature attacks you or a creature you, or plays all you control, each dragon deals one to each creature. We, we need a dragon in play, but with Soul Scar Mage, that uh that's not one damage, it's minus one minus one forever, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool little catch there. Cool little catch. Nice O1 opponent. Very impressive. Very impressive. Spider Dragon's pretty good. Shock. Sure. I mean, you still have his heart here on defense, so. Things are getting a little dicey here. Um, and I have two threats in play. But, yeah, it's still not enough to get through our heart, Akiran. Hmm. Might be time to make a dragon. I don't see what to do. They are thinking. They are in the tank. Pop again? Did they ever bottom? Oh my god. Unreal. No, just land go. Uh, that sucks. Alright, draw a card. I mean, deals crackling drink. It's not bad, actually. So we could fire up the district for three and just like use that to crew heart and then make a dragon also. I would trade heart for sprite dragon for sure. I'm gonna hazard this right now. I should have this before. So they can't like just block with the Drake and then shock the heart of Kieran. Holy sh Spell Pierce? I couldn't imagine a better card the entire format against the spell speech. We we totally screwed this turn up. I didn't even think about this card. Just a total total jackass show. Um just tap all my mana and then play a spell. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. Alright, I mean, we're gonna lose, but sure. Yes, this should cost one less to activate with, a, with an, a, an animated heart here and it's a legendary creature. Oh boy! I'm playing like a gold player in platinum. <laughs> or a platinum player, whatever. Usually I play a mythic too, so they're just taking it. Alright. So you do have two 4-4 four, four blockers. <laughs> Magnificent! Gentlemen. Lava coil. God, get wrecked. Yeah, we threw this game away pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Fine. You win. You win. Whatever. Fine. Get off my plate. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. Alright, so we obviously played that game pretty badly. Uh, we probably win that game if we uh, just don't get spell pierced there. Which is fine. Whatever. You know, you play bad sometimes. Best time to play bad is when you just leveled up because you can't lose your uh, your uh, your rank anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, 
That seems fun. It's pretty hilarious. He beat the beat, the, beat like the worst possible matchup twice. I would say that that deck all seems like a bad matchup. They should have like spell pierce and a quick clock and so on and so forth. But um, deck seems sweet. Honestly, it's like pretty cool. They have a lot, I, I like our updates a lot. I think that the original version was a little sketchy, but I think our updated version is pretty sweet. So if you like the old chunky red decks, check it out. Check it out. YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe.